Hello everyone and welcome back. It's the 2nd of July and oh look how many sweet peas I've got to pick again. I can't believe it. I love them. I love them so much. It smells so strong right now. <laughs> Today's job is, um, I don't know, I think we've got oh, quite a few things to do. I think we are going to attempt or make a start on clearing the overgrown path. <laughs> I definitely need to water and feed everything, especially the greenhouse things. Um, and then it's just going to be picking more sweet peas. Yeah, I think just watering and picking and a little bit of weeding today. We're going to see how much I can get done. I feel a little bit bad about removing some of this comfrey because the amount of bees here... You can just hear them. It's so still and quiet here today. All I can hear is bees and little birds. It's really lovely. So there was a path across here. Actually, I think it's back here. <laughs> um, there is the decking edge in and weed sheet down, but everything has just grown on top. I'm definitely growing again. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> I'm definitely going to grow these again next year. They are so pretty. Oh. <laughs> and this is how they begin. They start off very pale and white and then gradually turn pink. One sunflower is beginning to open. It's a little baby one. But unfortunately, we have another sunflower casualty. Oh. That's so sad. Like all of my big sunflowers have now snapped, but I've still got a couple that are okay. <laughs> Lesson learned, hey? Another one of the dahlias has opened. Look at that. Those colors is such a bright yellow. And then nice pink on the outside. That is amazing. And then here is the one that I showed you last week. I think it's about time we sieve this or strain it. This is the nettle stuff. Oh my god. This smells so bad. Hmm. <laughs> Lovely. I'm probably gonna do this in the most complicated way possible, but net over bucket. Then pour into watering can and then watering can into there. <laughs> Let's go. No, no, I'm gonna do. 
So the purpose of the net was actually to put up on top of the water butt. So I've just flipped this the right way around. We are due some rain. Um, I'm going to put some water in it now and test it. See if it actually works. Um, and then put the net on top so it can get filled but nothing will fall in. Then we'll get some little thingies, attachments, eventually. I also, I need to test the other water bar as well, actually, but I need to get some bricks for it to go on. Otherwise, I will not be able to fit a watering can under there. Okay, fingers crossed, this holds. <laughs> it's a temporary measure anyway. I have watered and fed everything. I put the remnants of the the nettles into the compost bin and um, yeah, that was so smelly. But if we are going to tackle some of the comfrey, I think it's time to make some comfrey fertilizer as well. Not 100% sure on the difference in nutrients, but I'll have to have a Google when I get home. Um, I think, all I'm gonna do is like this and this <laughs> because I can't bear to go through here today and there's so many bees. I don't really wanna get stung. I think, I think this is a poppy. Oh my gosh, I have a random poppy growing. Well, that's staying. Um, yeah, I think we're just going to tackle this. The sun is coming out <laughs> now and again. And I've learnt my lesson. After last week, I'm wearing a shirt. I'm going to put the collar up eventually. I don't want to burn my shoulders again. And I've got a hat on. Um, <laughs> and arms covered. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting burnt ever again. <laughs> I'm going to stick some bug spray on before I tackle the back of the block because I don't want any other bites or stains. Thank you. 
Um, the good news is I've actually found the path now or the very first. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. I disturbed a moth. Um, yeah, I found the path, so it begins here, so it must be about that that wide. <laughs> I couldn't even remember, to be honest. This plant is so big. I'm going to spend like 10 more minutes working on this, this patch, and then go, <laughs> go home. <laughs> uh oh. saying this looks better but we're getting somewhere uh, <laughs> I think I will just continue next time I'm here I need to cut this back even further I think and then this bit and then around the pond and I think it's gonna look so much better then I think I'm just going to put all this material onto that <laughs> compost heap when I can actually get to it and then cover it in black plastic to stop any more things growing um yeah progress what I'm gonna do now <laughs> is pick some sweet peas a couple of people have asked me how I've managed to grow sweet peas with such long stems and how are my plants so bushy? And the honest answer is I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> absolutely no idea. I've never ever grown sweet peas like this before. Um, and like I said, this was just some old seed that um, I wanted to use up. And you all watched me plant the weedy little plants in the ground back in, I think it was March. So I don't know. I really don't know what I've done. Um, I didn't use any special fertilisers. I don't think I even remembered to pinch them out. I think I pinched them out really late as well. Uh, they, they just must be loving life, being in the ground, in this soil. Um, yeah, I'm so amazed. I do wonder if this was just like allotment beginner luck. And we'll see what happens next year with sweet peas. I think rather than growing them over an arch, I will grow them in teepees next year. Um, as much as I love the arch, I also am really struggling to reach the top. <laughs> I'm only five foot one, five foot two, and I even made the archway shorter that I would be able to reach, but I, I still can't. So yeah, maybe teepees next year, and I think a few dotted along the plot and in different beds but I am so blown away by these sweet peas I love them so so much <laughs>
hello everyone so um my plan was to come back two days later and finish clearing the back of the plot that hasn't happened <laughs> uh yeah i got ill uh, aside from getting ill and the weather we've had it's literally just been rain wind thunder lightning on repeat we haven't had a single nice day and i felt completely flat <laughs> i don't know what other words to use apart from flat i've had no motivation to do anything leave the house or <coughs> do anything but you know what like coming here this afternoon and just seeing how much the plot has grown and all this <laughs> all this amazing greenery and flowers that have just exploded i just instantly feel so much better that helicopter's been going around for hours now i don't know what's going on but um yeah i just i felt so rubbish and then coming here has instantly lifted my mood and i feel a hundred times better so let's take a look <laughs> Let's do some jobs. I'll do some jobs while the bloody helicopter makes its way here. And um, yeah, catch up with you in a bit. I do seem to have lost my snapdragons. Um, these nasturtiums are huge, <laughs> absolutely huge. I am absolutely over the moon to have squash plants this big. And this one's even got a courgette on. I hope that doesn't get eaten though. Like I said a few minutes ago, being at the plot, it makes me feel so much better. Just getting out the house, the walk over to the plot is just lovely. It was so quiet and peaceful. And then just getting on with like the little jobs, like weeding and harvesting things, tidying things up. It just, it just brings me so, so much joy. And I'm just so grateful to have this allotment space and um yeah I'm absolutely loving it here <laughs> I know I won't be harvesting masses of produce this year just because one the weather has just been it's it's terrible the, the summer is awful this year and I feel like a lot of things are very far behind a lot of the things that I wanted to grow got eaten <laughs> And um, yeah, this is obviously my first few months, my first year on the allotment plot and just getting used to the environment and um, 
yeah learning what's gonna grow well what I'd like to grow next year what I want to do differently next year it's all just one big learning experience and I just I just love it (laughs) I honestly feel so grateful to have this plot and I'm really happy that I started filming at the plot it's so nice to look back on and see what's changing and just to document this whole allotment journey but it's also really nice to have people encourage me um to cheer me on to give me ideas and yeah I just love I just love this whole allotment thing it's great (laughs) I know I haven't managed to do all the things that I wanted to do this week but I think right now I'm learning that I really need to take care of myself I want to be able to do all these gardening things and I've had two colds in the last, like, two months. Okay, no, I had a cold in March, April, and then another one now. And I think that's kind of a um, a sign to slow down, to look after myself, and just take a step back and, yeah, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy things. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah I'm going off on like quite a tangent at the moment but yeah there's been so many little wins on this allotment plot like I am so happy with my sweet peas obviously and my potatoes have been doing amazingly the dahlias survived the slugs and they they're such a nice surprise so the dahlias I've been showing are the ones that I grew from seed they were called just a I think it was mix dwarf double mix and each one is so different it's such a nice surprise every time you see one open and I've been really lucky this year to have such lovely pink peach and yellow colors there hasn't been a red one yet which I'm really surprised about but I'll definitely be getting more of those seeds next year and I'll be saving the tubers from the ones I've grown this year So, yeah, we're going to have more dahlias next year for sure. (laughs) Like, I'm already starting to plan for next year and we've only... We we haven't even had summer yet here. Um, The the weather is so, so bad. (laughs) So bad. I know probably every um, person, allotment UK person, has been complaining about weather and slugs and you're probably sick of hearing it. And you're probably sick of looking out the window and seeing rain where you are too. Well, if you're in the UK anyway. Yeah, it's just a really disappointing summer. But like I've said, there are so many good things that have happened on this allotment plot this year. So it's, it's, all, it's all a big win, isn't it? It's all good. weeded all of the beds apart from the potato beds because I'm just going to do that when I harvest the potatoes um trimmed the grass <laughs> by hand <laughs> and I think we've got some carrots to harvest they're looking pretty big and I'm going to pick the sweet peas now as well no I think we should harvest some potatoes I don't have anything to carry them back in though I forgot my my lovely harvest basket <laughs> Oh yeah, I also tied in the pumpkins and attempted to get the nasturtiums growing in the opposite direction. Um, I think that's good for now. I'm really, really tired. Like, just my arms and my legs (laughs) using them. (laughs) It's so much effort at the moment. But, um, yeah, let's, let's do some harvesting. These are the carrots that I'm talking about. I think these were the Chantenay ones, which I sewed back in, I don't know, but look, that looks like quite a big baby carrot. Oh no, there's those ants. Um, I'm just gonna pull it out, I think. <gasps> Let's do this. I don't know if this is one or two. I'm gonna pull it out though. Oh my word. I don't know what that weird grub is. 
But oh my word, did you expect carrots like this? I didn't. The ones on this side aren't big enough, I don't think. Right, I'm gonna get these potatoes up because, yeah, <laughs> I can't get over the mare's tail in here. But if this bit is cleared, we can put the pumpkin in next time we're here. So let's get digging for potatoes. What? Why? Why has this one just got loads of... That's weird. Oh my word. These are huge. Get over these. Oh, no, <laughs> that's sad. That is a really decent harvest. Look at the size of them. That's not a new potato. <laughs> Although this is kind of disappointing. This is the biggest one, but it was exposed. Huge. But, oh my word. So happy. So that's one row completely harvested and I still have this row left to harvest and sort out <laughs> but that's gonna be for another day I'm gonna take this lot home they're actually really clean so I don't mind putting them straight in my <laughs> in my bag Whatever I've been putting into the compost bin, I've been chopping up as small as possible in the hope that it breaks down quicker. I am taking this compost very seriously. <laughs> After all the hassle of buying bagged compost this year, I want to make like the perfect compost ready for next year to mulch my beds with. I know I'm not going to get massive amount, especially with only one, one little bin. Um, but I'm being really conscious not to put any like weed material, weed seeds in. Um, I've been collecting like shredded paper and cardboard and yeah, I'm hoping that we can get a really good compost in this one Dalek. I do still have the other Dalek compost bin, so um, I need to start that one up as well soon. Maybe I'll just fill it with horse poop, <laughs> but um, we'll see. But yeah, I definitely want to minimise the amount of bagged compost that I'm using next year. So fingers crossed we get a really good clean <laughs> batch of compost. As for the bay compost area at the back, I'm putting kind of everything and anything in that pile. Like the weed stuff that I pulled out from the very back. I'm going to cover that up with black plastic when I can actually get to it and just wait for that to break down, rot down and diminish. There is quite a lot of bindweed in that 
back area so that's something that I don't really want to be spreading on my bed so as long as I get one Dalek full of like perfect compost I'll just wait for like the bindweed and stuff in that back pile to die off and then probably just make that pile into some kind of wildflower area I did mention growing a pumpkin in that um pile but um yeah as you can see that area got overgrown very very quickly but that's that's okay it's something to think about for next year anyway right got my sweet peas my two tiny carrots <laughs> a bag full of potatoes and um yeah thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you next week and hopefully we will be back to regular videos and um regular allotment visits because i miss this place so much when i can't get here see you next week bye mm -hmm.